Hello all, this video is on getting started with the ESP32 development kit using Arduino IDE. The ESP32 module has uh, two processors with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth BLE. It has got more number of ADC pins as compared to Node MCU and other peripherals like DAC, UART, SPA, I2C and built-in sensors like uh, touch, temperature and hall effect. The CP2102IC provides the USB functionality for the ESP32 development board. It has got two uh, reset buttons, two buttons. One at the top is EN and the, at the bottom you have the boot button to upload code. You can very well place the ESP32 module on uh, breadboard, but to access the GPU pins on both sides, you need uh, two breadboards. Uh, tear open the ends of uh, breadboard like this and then fix uh, both the breadboards together there is lock uh, you can see just uh, press lock the two breadboards now you can place the ESP32 development board on the center and uh, you have access for uh, GPU pins on both the sides Now let us see how to implement Arduino Core onto ESP32 using Boards Manager. Open the latest Arduino IDE, go to File Preferences. At the bottom of the next page, you have to paste the JSON link for Boards Manager, Arduino Core Boards Manager. The link is given in the description below. Or you can visit ESPRESSFIF uh, GitHub page and scroll down to locate the uh, instructions for uh, implementing Arduino Core. At the bottom of the page, you can find the uh, JSON link for Boards Manager. Copy this uh, JSON link and then paste it under File Preferences. You can use Ctrl V to paste the link here. If you have already installed uh, NodeMCU, you will see uh, another JSON link here. Now you put a comma and then paste the new link. Now under Tools, Boards, open Boards Manager. And then search for ESP32. You need a good internet connection for installing this boards, uh, Arduino Core Boards Manager using Boards Manager. Select the ESP32 for Espress IF and select the latest version and click on install. It will take a moment uh, to install the Arduino Core for ESP32. Once the installation is uh, complete, you can close the Arduino IDE and then open it again. Let us now blink the inbuilt LED on ESP32 module. The ESP32 module has got a blue inbuilt LED on board. The inbuilt LED is mapped to GPU2 pin. Uh, the GPU2 pin is uh, fourth pin from the uh, bottom. It is mapped to the inbuilt LED. We can also use an external LED to see the result. The long lead of the external LED is connected to GPU2 and the short lead is connected to ground through a 330 ohms resistor. We can use male to male jumper wire to achieve this. Now connect the USB cable to ESP32. Open the device manager and note down the COM port allotted. You should have uh, installed the CP2102 driver previously to see the COM port allotment. Note down the COM port allotted here inside the device manager. And in Arduino IDE, under tools, select the board as uh, ESP32 DEV module. Now under tools, you can see other uh, settings. You leave it to 
default upload speed cpu frequency flash frequency all leave it to default and select the port as the one uh, seen under the device manager now from uh, file examples open the blink sketch inside the blink sketch the led built in uh, is uh, uh, switched on for a moment and then after a delay it is uh, switched off now we have to define the led built in as the led built in is mapped to gpu2 we use this statement at the top define led built in 2 instead of gpu2 we use only the uh, number 2 this is how to use the uh, access the gpu pins now save the uh, save the code and then click on upload at the bottom of the ide you can see the compiling message once the compiling is over you can see dots and then continuous line as soon as you see the continuous line you press the boot button to upload the code now it shows done uploading this is how to upload the code onto esp32 you have to press the esp32 uh, boot button and the code is uploaded now you can see the result the blue uh, built in led blinks and then the external led also blinks now let us change the uh, led to gpu15 the gpu15 is the third print from bottom let us shift the led to gpu 15 connect the long lead of led to gpu 15 and then inside the code uh, you change the modify the define statement define led built into 15 instead of gpu 15 you just mention only 15 save the code and then click on upload once you see the compiling message is uh, compiling message and then uh, dots you see long lines now you press the boot button now the code is uploaded and then you can see the result the led connected at gpu 15 is blinking thank you for watching